Let's talk about a feature that has completely changed the way I use Virtual DJ, the new Stems Equalizer, which replaces the default equalizer with stems. This raises the question, is it worth making the switch? Well, stick around as we explore the pros and cons to help you make that decision. But before that, let's look at what this new Stems Equalizer is and what makes it different from the old default equalizer. The Stems Equalizer, aka the EZ Remix EQ, is one of two new equalizer modes that Virtual DJ introduced not too long ago. The other mode is the modern EQ mode. Today, our focus is on the EZ Remix mode, a feature that revolves around stems, which are a must-have for every modern DJ at this point. The EZ Remix mode swaps out the default EQ with its stem-based frequencies, vocals replacing the highs, instruments taking over the mids, and beats handling the lows. Twist any of the three knobs to the left and you'll fade out that specific stem. Twist them to the right and that stem takes the spotlight. Now that you're up to speed on the stem's equalizer, let's look into the pros and cons that I've encountered while using this equalizer mode. First up, let's talk about custom mapping. Imagine condensing not two, not three, but four intricate actions into a single key. Here's what I mean. The typical stems transition technique involves blending vocals and beats seamlessly before transitioning to the second song. One way you can achieve that is by muting the instruments from deck A, leaving you with the vocals. And muting the vocals from deck B, leaving you with the instruments. This will allow you to blend the two songs together before making a full transition. To give me while I push the rain Going up and down my dick like the stock exchange Rearrange the whole game with my rugged sound Won't even say your own name when I come around Stay on top but remain from the underground with the EZ Remix mode, custom mapping your stems, crossfader, and decks in order to achieve a similar effect becomes a breeze. For example, using a custom mapping script, I've cut instruments from deck A, leaving only the vocals playing, cut vocals from deck B, leaving only the instruments playing, placed the crossfader at the center for a smooth blend and automatically started playing the song on deck B, all with a single key. This takes your efficiency levels through the roof. To give me while I push the rain Going up and down my dick like the stock exchange Rearrange the whole game with my rugged sound Won't even say your own name when I come around Stay on top but remain from the underground I'll leave this mapping script for you in the description Along with more gems you might find useful The next advantage of using the EZ Remix mode Is the ability to do stem fade-ins and outs if you've ever faced the issue of a stem coming back too strong after deactivating it for a transition, you're not alone. The default stem pad can be a bit clunky at times because upon deactivating a stem, it will take the volume of that stem from 100 to 0, and when you reactivate it, it will take the volume from 0 to 100 instantly. And this kinda sucks especially when you're bringing back the vocals of your second song after the song has already started. But now enters the EZ Remix EQ. Using the vocals knob you can slowly reintroduce vocals after a transition or fade them out before getting into your next song, which makes them sound way better, as you can hear from this comparison. Now let's look at the cons that come with using this equalizer. After some serious digging, I'm coming up empty-handed on reasons why you shouldn't jump into the stems EQ world. More and more DJs are embracing mixing with stems, and to be honest, stems are much better at their job than the previous equalizer. But hey, I'll let you be the judge. If you are interested in using this new equalizer mode, all you have to do is click the EQ mode drop-down, and then check the EZ Remix mode under Advanced EQ mode. Our next videos will be part of a series on mastering virtual DJ scripting language, which allows you to come up with your own custom mappings like the one we used in this video, so make sure you've hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified when a new video is uploaded. Till next time, keep practicing.